underway here in Hartsville. And first up for the Tigers, shortstop, number 20, Braylon Flowers. Coach Kieran thought it might, was just a little bit funny because we was out here on the deck tonight outside, and he said, well, now you get to know what we feel when we're on the field all the time and y'all not in the press box. So That's right, yeah. I told him, yes, sir, we're going we're to enjoy the weather like you do. <laughs> Here's the first pitch to Braylon Flowers. He swung on and missed for strike one. Count 0-1 to Flowers. Walford, number 12, doing the work for the Yellow Jackets on the mound this afternoon. Here's the second pitch to Flowers. Swung on. That's going to be a ground ball to shortstop. Shortstop's going to pick it up. He's going to throw over to first. And just by half a step, they're going to make the out at first as Flowers heads back to the dugout. That was Sullins. I believe I got that name right. Yes, Sullins. Sullins at shortstop. Throws over to Mullman for the out. Next up, number 16, freshman Jake Metter. Metter playing third base for the Tigers today. Here's the first pitch to Metter. Swung on. It's going to be a foul ball over into the Yellow Jackets dugout. So 0-1, opening count for Jake Metter. For the second time, Tigers are wearing those red jerseys today with white pants. Look nice. Off-speed pitch, and that's going to be a watched strike for Metter. So count 0-2 on Metter. Walford up early in this at bat. Here's the 0-2 pitch, swung on, high fly ball, gonna sail in foul territory and go over the fence out of play on the first base side. Count remains 0-2. Metter will head back to the batter's box. Jeffrey said those red uniforms that they have now, those uh, red tops, white pants, trimmed in blue, they look they look really nice. They, they introduced those in the tournament down in Chattanooga, and, uh, and that, that red really looks nice out on the field. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swung on, fouled off straight back into the backstop by Metter. So the count stays 0-2, and, and with one out, Walford stays up in the count. Walford, pitching up the windup, gets his signal. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a line shot over to Coach Craighead at first base. Out of play. Foul ball. Count stays 0-2. Metter steps back in. Here's the pitch from Walford. Swung on and missed late by Metter. And so that will be the second out of the first inning. And that's going to bring up number seven, Soup Woodard. Soup is playing catcher for the Tigers today. No one on base, two outs. And the Tigers looking to start generating some offense early. Wolford winds up, pitches, swung on and missed. Strike one. Count 0-1. Walford gets his signal. He delivers. High fly ball. Right fielder calling for it. And the catch is going to be made by Livingston in right to retire the side. When we come back, the Yellow Jackets are going to be at bat. Tigers will be on defense. We'll go over the starting lineup. When we return, you're listening to Country 102, WLCT. First batter is number two, second baseman Calhoun. And the first pitch to Calhoun is a ball low from Flowers. Calhoun steps back in. Flowers from the windup. Second pitch is also a ball low. Two and oh. We are on a balcony just over the top of the Trailsville County dugout. Third pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. Count two and one now. Here's the two-one pitch is outside. 
for ball three. Count moves to three and one on Calhoun. And that's a strike two, three and two. I don't think the umpire has much of a hand signal on the strike. Uh, I think he's too cold to raise his arm. We just have to listen. And that's the fourth ball. Calhoun will take a walk down to first base. And so the Yellow Jackets will be the first to get one on base in the game. That's going to bring up number 14, Beal, the center fielder. And from our position, too, where we are, we're between uh, home plate and almost to third base is where our standing place is. So we are at a definite angle tonight to try to see what's going on. Pickoff move by Flowers attempted. Gets it over to Polston, who applies the tag. Calhoun gets back in time. And so Flowers now looks in as Beal steps back into the box. He's going to bunt. Jake Metter's going to pick up the bunt. He's going to. Make the out at first to Hayes Polston. It's going to move Calhoun to second on the sack bunt. And that's going to bring up number 11, Day, the designated hitter. Yellow Jackets with one man on, one out. Day steps in. Flowers checks his runner from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And that is strike one. Count 0 and 1. Swung on and fouled on the second pitch. Count 0 and 2. So Flowers gets up early on day in the count at his at bat. Flowers still pitching from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit over to the Tigers dugout for a foul ball. Count remains 0 and 2. Calhoun still on second base. Here's the pitch. That's outside. Ball one. Count one and two now on Calhoun. Flowers looks in. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Hard ground ball to Flowers. He nabs it. Underhands it to Polston at first for the out. Calhoun moves to third, but the Tigers will register the second out while the Yellow Jackets now have one in scoring position at third base. That's going to bring up the catcher, number 23, Key. We're trying to position, turn, or whatever we got to do to try to keep the wind noise down some, but we're not having any luck. First pitch is in the dirt. That's ball one. Calhoun on third, takes his lead. Back at the wind up. That pitch is strike one. Count one and one today. Key. From the wind up, that pitch is a ball. Count two and one. Flowers winds up, delivers. That's ball three. Key steps in. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Picked up by Keene. Keene makes the throw over to Polston. Polston has to come off the bag. He makes the tag. Umpire calls him safe. And uh, they appealed to the home plate umpire. The field umpire had called him safe, but the home plate umpire was watching the play, and he said, no, he tagged him. He was out. And so that's going to end the inning. The Yellow Jackets going to come away scoreless. And so at the end of one, we've got no score in the game. When we come back, the Tigers going to be batting. You're listening to Country 102, WLCT. 
looking on the Trousa County uh, High School uh, website uh, today, they lost the last two games to Westmoreland. It was uh, 18 to nothing and seven to three, I think was the final scores. And those were district games as they had them recorded. Hard shot in left center and that's gonna be a base hit for Hayes Polston on the first pitch of the second inning. So nice hit by Polston. He will stand up on first. And that's gonna bring up number 17, the designated hitter, Hayden Dean. Walford still on the mound for Trousdale County. He comes set, here's the pitch. It's gonna be swung on by Dean. Center fielder's gonna call for that. He's gonna come up, he's not gonna be able to get to it. However, he was in shallow center field when he made the catch. And so Polston, thinking he was gonna make the catch, hung back. And so they were able to get the force out on the lead runner at Polston at second fairly easily. And so Polston was kind of in a no-win situation there. He was, he was trying to hold up. It was just a short, he almost got to it. He liked about a foot catching it. And Hayes had to wait to see what was going on. He got caught before he get to second base. Pickoff moved by Walford over to first, and Dean able to get back. Two base hits for the Tigers in the top of the second, and the first two batters. Walford throws over to Mullman on first, but Dean able to sniff that out. Landon Connor up to bat for the Tigers, number 42, left field junior, and the first pitch to Connor is a ball high. Dean on first base. No score in the game so far in the top of the second inning. Walford comes set. Here's the pitch. That's high for ball two. Two and O's the count. There's one out. On the force out from Polston at second. Walford looks in, comes set. Here's the pitch. That's right down the middle. Connor swings on it. The second baseman comes over to pick up the slow roller after the first baseman couldn't get to it. Second baseman for Trousdale County is Calhoun. And Walford correctly went over to first base and took the underhanded toss to get the out at first on Landon Connor. It does advance Dean to second but the Yellow Jackets have registered the second out of the second inning on a force out and a throw out at first. First pitch now up to Chase Keene, number 19. He's playing shortstop today for the Tigers as Braylon Flowers is on the mound. So Keene steps in, first pitch is a strike. Owen one's the count. Walford comes set, Dean takes his lead, and Walford steps off. Walford resets, comes set. Here's the pitch. That's an off-speed pitch. It's going to be swung on by Keene. That may fall Drop. for a base hit. It yes. does. Between left, center field, and shortstop, fell right between the three of them. That's going to be a base hit. And most importantly for the Tigers, that's going to put the first run across the plate as Hayden Dean comes across home. Tigers up one nothing here in the top of the second, and Chase Keene will register the third base hit for the Tigers of this inning. That brings up number 18, center fielder, sophomore Matthew Wheely. Keene takes his lead on first. First pitch swung on by Wheely. Strike one. Count 0-1 to Matthew Wheely. Two outs, one runner on base. Walford comes set. Keene takes his lead, and Keene's going to second. This is going to be a line drive right to the shortstop by Matthew Wheely. And the shortstop, Sullins, didn't even have to move his feet. Just stood there. Just hit, right it, to him. hit it right to him like we were taking batting practice. So after the third out, that'll retire the side, but not before the Tigers put one run on the board. As we go into the bottom of the second inning, the Tigers lead the Yellow Jackets by a score of one to nothing. Stay with us. 
for more Tiger baseball here on your home for Tiger baseball, 102.1 WLCT. And we're back here in Trousdale County. The Tigers leading the Yellow Jackets by a score of one to nothing. In the bottom of the second, Braylon Flowers pitching for the Tigers. And first up for the Yellow Jackets is number 12, the pitcher, Walford. First pitch, strike one. Next pitch for Flowers is a hard shot to the second baseman, Jay Wilson. And he makes a dive, but unable to make the catch. And so that's going to be a base hit to right field. Walford's going to be on base. And that's going to bring up number 16, Jake Malman. Pinch runner. We have a pinch runner coming in for the Yellow Jackets. That's going to be number seven, Dennis. He's going to courtesy run for Walford. And so Malman steps in. Flowers comes set. Foul ball on the first base side. So count 0-1 to Malman. Dennis takes his lead. Flowers delivers the pitch. That's the shortstop. Shortstop Keen to Wilson. They get the out at second, but unable to make the double play at first. And so the Tigers will get the lead runner at second for the first out of the bottom of the second inning. Malman will be on first base. And Dennis, the pinch runner, will come back to the dugout. And that's going to bring up number one, Livingston, the right fielder for the Jackets. Flowers come set. Tigers move their defense in. And that's going to be a watched strike one. Count 0-1 for Livingston. One out, one man on base. Tigers lead 1-0 in the bottom of the second. Second pitch swung on and missed by Livingston, and so Flowers gets up early in the count on Livingston. Count 0-2. Flowers comes set, delivers, swing and a miss, strike three, and that'll be out number two for the bottom of the second inning. So the Jackets still with one man on to the plate will come number 21, Sullins, the shortstop. Here's the pitch from Flowers. Sullins watches the first pitch, and that's strike one. Malman over on first base. Second pitch is ball one, low. Count one and one to Sullins. Flowers checks his runner. Delivers, swing and a miss, strike two. Count moves to one and two. And the Tigers with two outs. Flowers shakes off the first sign, takes the second one. Here's the pitch, and that is a called strike three. That's going to end the inning, retire the side, and the Jackets again come away scoreless after two. We start at the top of the third. The Tigers are going to be batting, and the Jackets will go out on defense. You're listening to your home for Tiger baseball, Country 102, WLCT. The Jordan Rogers steps in. Wolford. There's the pitch. Swung on. It's going to be hit to the shortstop. He's going to bobble it. And so Rogers on the air is going to reach first. And he hits the first pitch of the third inning. And he's on base. That's going to bring up the top of the order again. Braylon Flowers, number 20. A lot of activity going on down here in Hartsville today. There's a softball game in the field right next to this one. And if you're watching on NCTV, you can probably see it in the distance. Pickoff move tried by Wolford over to first. Rogers able to get back in time, sliding back. So Flower steps in and looks for his first pitch. Wolford comes set, 
Delivers the pitch. It's low. And that's ball one. Count one and oh. Rodgers takes his lead. Wolford comes set, delivers, swung on. That's going to be to the shortstop, and he's going to bobble that one. And after the second error from the shortstop, the Tigers have two on base. That's a fortunate series of events for the Tigers. And so with no outs, Tigers with two men on in the top of the third, Jake Metter steps in. Wolford comes set. Both Tigers take their leads. No one holding them on. Wolford steps off. Metter steps out, takes a few practice swings. And then he comes back in. Wolford comes set. Here's the pitch, a bunt, and that's going to be <laughs> caught in the air by Wolford. He dove forward and caught Metter's bunt. That was, uh, it was a, a short fly ball on that bunt, you could say. And the pitcher caught it, and then he was able to try to get it back to first base to get the out, but unsuccessful. <laughs> and being able to make the second out, make it a double play. But nevertheless, Metter will register the first out for the Tigers. And that'll bring up number seven, Soup Woodard. Wolford steps off again. And now everyone resets. Soup steps in, Wolford comes set, runners take their leads. Here's the pitch, swung on a hard swing. It's going to be to center field. Center field is going to go back and make the catch. Rodgers started to tag up to come to third, but thought better of it as the center fielder got the ball in rather quickly. And so Rodgers goes back to second, Flowers goes back to first. And just like that, the Tigers have two outs now with two men on. Tigers would like to take advantage of having these runners on. Hayes Polston, 34, first baseman, coming up to bat. Wolford comes set. Here's the pitch. Polston takes that first one. He didn't like that one. Strike one. Polston had a base hit his last time at bat in the second inning. Yellow Jackets playing fairly shallow right now. Tigers could hit it over their head. That one's in the dirt. It gets by the catcher. Rogers going to come to third. Flowers going to come to second on the pass ball. And so as those guys advance, Rogers is in scoring position. A base hit would score a second run for the Tigers. One one's the count. Two outs. Jordan Rogers at third, Braylon Flowers at second. Walford comes set. Here's a pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Count moves to one and two with two outs and two men on. If you're just joining us, Tigers leading one nothing in the top of the third inning at Trousdale County. Walford. Gets his signal, comes set, delivers. Off-speed pitch, high. Evens the count at two and two. Walford gets his signal from his catcher. Didn't like the first one. He likes the second one. Here's the pitch. That's low. Almost gets away from the catcher. But he does a good job of keeping it in front of him. Count three and two. Full count. Two outs. Two men on for the Tigers. 
don't speak too quick, but the wind has kind of settled just a little bit, so that's helping us a whole lot. Absolutely. Here's the pitch from Walford. Off-speed pitch, swung on hard by Polston, and it's going to be hit right to the right fielder. And so Livingston makes the catch. That will end the inning, or end the top of the third inning. And when we come back, the Yellow Jackets will be at bat again in the bottom of the third. Tigers with a one nothing lead. Stay with us. You're listening to Tiger Baseball on Country 102, WLCT. Scruggs, the left fielder. Ninth batter in the lineup for Trousdale County. This will be his first at bat of the game. Infield in, first pitch. It's a called strike one right down the middle from Braylon Flowers. Flowers from the windup, delivers, and that's a called strike two on Scruggs. Two good pitches from Flowers to open the bottom of the third. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a ground ball. Back to Flowers. Flowers going to run over toward first base, underhanded to Polston to make a sure-handed out. One away. And that's going to bring up the leadoff batter. Number two, second baseman Calhoun. From the wind up, here comes a pitch from Flowers, and he hits Calhoun in the back. As Calhoun turns away from the pitch, and so he'll take first base after the hit by pitch. And that will bring up the second batter, number 14, center fielder, Beal. One out here in the bottom of the third. Beal steps in, Flowers checks Calhoun over on first, who's taking a healthy lead. Beal shows bunt, brings Metter in, then pulls it back. Ball one. Count one and oh. Shows Bunn again. There goes the runner to second base. Soup unable to get the ball out of his glove in time to make the throw. So Calhoun will be safe at second and credit him with the stolen base. And that will move the count to 2-0. and oh. Bill steps back in. Calhoun now on second. He shows bunt. He bunts. Flowers comes up to get it. Jay Wilson comes over to second to try to make the play. Polston had charged first. Flowers ran over to get it, but a throw pretty low for Wilson. He can't hang on. And as they're trying to make the play at home, they're unable to make the tag in time. Calhoun's going to cross the plate. That's going to tie your ball game with a one-to-one -one score. I think Wilson was laying down to try to catch that, keep his foot on the bag, but yeah, it was too low. Not able to happen. First pitch, strike one, 0 and one now to number eleven, Day. Day, designated hitter for. The Yellow Jackets. Second pitch is going to be a hard hit ground ball to Metter. Wilson's going to get the out, the lead runner at second. Try for the double play. Unable to make the double play at first, but the Tigers register a second out. And so now with two outs, number 23, Key is going to come up to bat. He's playing catcher for the Yellow Jackets today. And so with one runner on, Day over on first. The first pitch is a ball. Count one and oh. Key steps in. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Count moves to one and one. Two outs. Yellow Jackets have one runner on.
Here's the pitch. Swung on. That's going to be a slow roller to second base. Wilson's going to pick it up, and he's going to throw it to first to retire the side for the third out. And we have a tie ball game going into the top of the fourth. The Tigers are going to be batting. Yellow Jackets will be back on defense. Stay with us for more Tiger baseball here on Country 102, WLCT. Up to the plate comes number 17, Hayden Dean. Dean is the only run that has crossed the plate for the Tigers so far in the top of the second inning. And so here in the top of the fourth, Dean will come back to bat. Had a base hit in the first time he bat and wound up getting moved around to where he could score. First pitch is high from Wolford. That's going to be a ball. Count 1-0. and oh. Wolford from the windup. There's the pitch. Swung on hard by Dean. That's going to be hit to left field, and that is going to go over the left fielder's head. That's a right. fair ball, and that's going to go all the way back to the fence. That will be a stand-up double for Hayden Dean. And great base hit from Hayden Dean. I mentioned earlier that the Yellow Jackets are playing shallow, and that one was well past the left fielder's head, or well over the left fielder's head. And just about three feet inside the line. That's all very down good. Left field. Base hit all day, every day that way. It is. That's going to bring up number 42, Landon Connor, left-handed batter. Dean over on second, takes his lead. Wolford comes set. He's going to turn around. He's going to try the pickoff move. But Dean saw that coming, so he slides back in and gets back safe. Connor steps back in. Wolford gets his signal, comes set. Here's the pitch. Connor showed bunt, then pulled it back the last second. And so the first pitch is high for 1-0. and oh. Wolford steps back off. Now, if you compare the pace of the pitching today to the Tigers and even station camp last night, yeah, wow. <laughs> it's a big difference. Wolford taking his time on the mound between every pitch, taking a long time between every pitch comparatively. And Dean's going to try to get to third. He's going to stand up on third and steal. Great run from Dean. And Coach Hudson comes over to give him some encouragement. And that pitch was a ball to Landon Connor. So 2-0 and is the count to Connor. There's no outs. Hayden Dean's over on third base now after the steal. Wolford comes set. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Hit into the Tigers' dugout nearly by Connor. He turned on that one. That'll move the count to two and one. With our friends with the media that's with us today, we were talking earlier, these left-handed batters, we're kind of on, on guard here because we're out in the open. We, we're not behind the net. So we got to watch these uh, foul balls that might be coming our way. Absolutely. If you can... Swung on by Connor. He turned on it. It's going to go down the first base line. First baseman's going to scoop it up, step on first for the out, but that's going to be a sacrifice by Connor because the Tigers put another run across the plate. And so Chase Keen, number 19, is going to come up. If you are watching on NCTV, you see the perspective of where the camera is facing these batters. We're right next to him. And so all three of us are in the firing line on these left-handed batters for sure. Here's the first pitch to Keen. That's high. That's going to be ball one. Tigers leading 2-1 in the top of the fourth inning. Wolford back from the windup. Here's the pitch swung on by Keen. It's going to go to the shortstop, and he's going to bobble that for his third error. And that's going to put Keene on first base for the Tigers. That's going to bring up number 18, Matthew Wheelie, center fielder, sophomore for the Tigers. Keene shaking his hands as cold as it is out here. Sometimes those bats sting. You could tell when he you could tell from the sound of that bat. 
that probably stung his hands. Yeah, he's still feeling Neil. Wheatley steps in. Here's the pickoff move to first as Wolford tosses it over. Keen able to get back. Day didn't try to apply the tag. And so Keen takes his lead now. Wolford comes set. Here's the pitch. That's going to be swung on by Wheatley. That's going to go to the second baseman. He's going to pick it up and throw it over to first. And on the play from Calhoun today. No, excuse me. Calhoun yeah. to Malman. Yeah. Calhoun to Malman for the second out, but moves Chase Keene to second base. That's going to bring up number two, Jordan Rogers, senior right fielder for the Tigers. Tigers leading 2-1 in the top of the fourth. Rogers got on on the last time on the air on the shortstop and was able to reach first base. They stranded on third then in the third inning. First pitch to Rogers is fouled up straight up and back, and that is over there next to the Tigers' bus for a foul ball. Count 0-1. A lot of cars packed into this parking lot with a softball game and baseball game being played simultaneously. Wolford comes set. Here's the lead, or here's the pitch. That's high. And Keene draws a throw down to second after a large secondary lead. But the center fielder able to back it up on the miscue on the high throw from Key. And so Keene is going to remain on second base. And the count will be one and one to Rogers after the ball and a foul ball. Rogers steps back in. With two outs, Wolford comes set. Here's the pitch. Swung on again, another foul ball straight up and back. And that will move the count to 0 and 2. One and two. Got some broken window sound effects from the booth, I think. <laughs> One and two is the count. Two outs. Tigers 2-1 lead. Chase Keene on second base. Wolford comes set. Delivers. Rogers, that's going to be a base hit in right field. Keene is going to turn and come around to home and he's going to come home. They're not even going to try to make a play at home. Keen was on his horse getting around third base. And so now the Tigers take a 3-1 lead over the Yellow Jackets as Jordan Rogers with a base hit to right field stands up on first. That's going to bring us back to the top of the order again. Braylon Flowers, number 20, pitching today for the Tigers. Generally starts at shortstop unless he's doing pitching duties. And Keen playing shortstop today. Wolford comes set. Rogers on first, takes his lead. He's going to second. And he's going to slide in and be safe. He's going to slide in under the tag. Key made the throw to second. And a good catch by Calhoun. But the throw was high, and he had to bring it all the way down to try to tag Rogers. So Rogers was able to slide in under that tag. One and O's the count. Here's the pitch to Flowers. That comes down the third base line. Wow. And that's a foul ball. <clears throat> Not by much, but it was foul. Count one and one to Flowers now. Rogers heads back to second base. And so now Trousdale County coach is moving his outfielders back in center and in left. 1-1. One, one. Wolford comes set, delivers the pitch. This is going to be a hard hit ball to the shortstop. He's going to grab this one up, but Flowers is going to beat out the throw to first base. Rogers is going to be safe at third. And now the Tigers are going to have runners at the corners. Freshman Jake Metter coming up to bat. With two outs, the Tigers looking for a two-out rally now.
Jordan Rogers on third. Braylon Flowers on first. Jake Metter at the plate. Metter struck out his first time at bat and hit right back to the pitcher. His second time at bat, that little blooper, but he caught it in the air, so that's his, uh, this is his third time at bat. He's due for a base hit. Metter steps in. Wolford gets his signal. He steps off now. Wolford looking at the dugout and then steps off. Now he looks in, gets his signal from his catcher. Comes set. Runners take their leads. Now he's going to throw a pickoff attempt at first to Braylon Flowers. Flowers gets back, slides in head first. So the Tigers with runners at the corners. Meadow waits for his first pitch. He tries again. The pickoff move to Flowers at first. Flowers again gets back. So at the top of the fourth inning, Tigers leading 3-1. Runners at the corners. And Jake Metter at the plate. Two outs. Wolford comes set. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be a ball one. The Yellow Jackets wanted that one. The count 1-0 now to Jake Metter. Wolford looks in, comes set. There's the pitch. Low ball two. Count two and oh to Metter now. Still two outs, two runners on. Well, the county's done a good job of getting his feel in shape. As much rain as we had day before yesterday, it's, uh, it's uh, really good. Looks really nice. And here's the pickoff move again to Flowers at first. Gets back easily. Malman not trying to apply the tag there. Flower was able to move quickly and get a jump to get back. Wolford comes set. Here's the pitch. Metter pops it straight up. Malman on first is calling for it, and he gets it. That will retire the side, but not before the Tigers Put two runs on the board at the top of the fourth. When we come back, we'll be in the bottom of the fourth. The Yellow Jackets will be at bat, and the Tigers are going to go back out on defense. 3-1, Tiger lead. You're listening to Country 102, WLCT. Yellow Jackets playing host to the Tigers, who have a 3-1 lead over the Jackets in the bottom of the fourth inning. And Tigers on defense coming up to bat. Number 12, Walford, the pitcher for the Jackets, his first Pitch is a foul ball down the third base side. The count be 0-1. Braylon has two strikeouts so far in this game against Trousel County. Here's the pitch. Walford hits that one right back to Flowers on the mound, who jogs over, makes the underhanded throw to Polston for the first out. Flowers has had several balls hit to him in this game so far. He has. Great job by Flowers Number making 16, those plays. When those balls are coming off the bat right at you on the mound, you have to have a quick reflex. Number 16, Malman, first baseman, comes up to bat. First pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. 0-1's oh, the count, one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Flowers from the windup. Here's the pitch. Check swing. He said he went. Strike two. Count 0 and 2. Flowers gets up early on Mauman at this at bat. There's the third pitch, and that's going to be high for ball one. Count one and two to Malman. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch. That's low. For ball two. Even count. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Swung on. Missed. Strike three. Out number two. Next to the plate is number one, Alex Livingston. It's going to bring up number one, Livingston. 
for the Yellow Jackets. Tigers holding on to a 3-1 lead in the bottom of the fourth. First pitch is going to be a little low for ball one. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed strike one. <clears throat> nice fastball from Flowers. There's a pitch, and that's going to be strike two right down the pipe. Great fastball from Flowers. One and two's the count, two outs. And swung on and missed. That retires the side. And when we come back, we're going to be in the top of the fifth inning. Tigers are going to go back on offense. They'll be at bat. Stay with us. You're listening to Tiger Baseball here on 102 WLCT. Footard steps into the box for the Tigers. Wolford. Pitching from the windup. Here's the first pitch to Woodard. That's going to be low and inside for ball one. Count one and oh. Here's the second pitch. That's going to hit the dirt in front of the plate for ball two. This is actually the first time uh, my, my both my boys they play ball on the Tiger team. And this is the first time that they have played Trousdale County, and they are juniors in high school. Third pitch, high for ball three. And Trousdale County has been on the schedule every year, their freshman and sophomore years, but the game has been canceled for one reason or another, what generally weather-related. And so this is actually the first time that they've ever gotten to play them. And the 3-1 pitch, or 3-0 pitch comes in as a called strike for 3-1. Soup was headed down to first for a walk, but the umpire called him back. 3-1's the count. Soup steps back in. Wolford delivers, and that's going to be a walk. And so Soup's going to head down to first base. That's going to bring up number 34, Hayes Polston, left-handed batter for the Tigers. For a bit of nostalgia, many years ago, uh, field's been reworked a little bit, but when Jeremy was playing uh, Little League Baseball down here, he hit a home run over the lights in center field. I did. One, I, one I of the did. longest uh, home runs the people down here told us that it had been hit at that time. That, so was, that was many moons ago. A few days ago, but I've got the ball at the house in a case, <laughs> so uh, I got a souvenir out of it anyway. So. <laughs> a little over 30 years ago. Soup Woodard on first. Here's the first pitch to Polston. That's going to be a called strike one. Count 0-1. No outs here in the top of the fifth inning. Tigers with a 3-1 lead over the Jackets. And Soup's going to take off to second. Ball gets away from Key behind the plate, and so Soup is easily going to get to second. And after that pitch, it's one and one. I never thought 30 years ago when that happened that I would come back and be on the radio calling these games. Uh, be announcing them and, and two boys on the team. That's right, especially our, <coughs> when our all-star team got put out of that tournament in the championship game by Trousdale County. Trousdale County. Patrick Coley was, a, was pitching that game. That's right. And... Now my daughter plays volleyball with his daughter over at Macon County. And now we've got the throw over to first of the pitcher. Throw to the pitcher from Key was a little bit short. Pitcher couldn't get a hold of it. And so runner decided he was just going to go on. And that's going to be a pinch runner that we have in. I should have mentioned that the Tigers have a pinch runner. We were, we were reminiscing about the past. Yeah, we were going down the old days. And so Polston's going to step back in. And that's going to be a hard hit ball past the second baseman into right field. And the Tigers are going to put another run across the plate as Eli Carver 
the pinch runner who came in for soup, or courtesy runner, I should say, came in for soup, crosses the plate on a hard base hit by Hayes Polston. That's going to bring up Hayden Dean, number 17, the designated hitter for the Tigers, now with a 4-1 lead. First pitch to Hayden Dean is a called ball one, high. Holston takes his lead on first. Wolford delivers. Ball hit to the third baseman. He's going to try to make the throw over to first. He's going to make the out at first to get Dean, but did not get the lead runner. Polston at second. And so I think the second baseman and the third baseman are discussing that. He would have had time to get the lead runner, but chose to go to first instead. Got the out, but Polston now on second base. That's going to bring up Landon Connor, left-handed, left fielder, junior for the Tigers. Connor had a pop out to the first baseman, his last at bat. This is going to be a foul ball that's going to be possibly over on the softball field. The opening count for him will be 0-1. One. one out, Tigers leading 4-1 in the top of the fifth with one man on. Here's the pitch to Connor. He swings on it. That's going to be popped straight up. The pitcher, Wolford's going to call for it, and he's going to make the catch on the infield flyout. So Poston will remain on second. That'll bring up Chase King, number 19, with two outs. Wolford comes set. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Hard swing. Missed by Keene. Count 0-1. Here's the next pitch. Keene fouled off straight back. And so Wolford gets up early and Keene's at bat. Count 0-2. Wolford looks in. Polston takes his lead. No one holding him on. He comes set. Here's the pitch. Swung on, popped up. It's in foul territory, but the first baseman able to back up and make the catch. And so as Malman makes the catch over on first, that'll retire the side. And when we come back, we'll be in the bottom of the fifth inning. The Yellow Jackets will be at bat. Stay with us for more Tiger baseball. They have a 4-1 lead over the Jackets. You're listening to Country 102 WLCT. All away games, we're coming. We're going to be here live for every game. Sullins is going to be up to bat. First one was a strike. Strike one. Second pitch is going to be a ground ball to Metter. He's going to gobble it up, get it over to Polson on first for the out. And so the Tigers will get out number one early in the bottom of the fifth inning. Coming to the plate, number 10. It's going to bring up Scruggs. Scruggs, the left fielder. <clears throat> Braylon Flowers doing great work on the mound for the Tigers today. First pitch is called a ball. Count one and oh. Second pitch is low. For ball two. 2-0 two -oh now. Third pitch to Scruggs is a called strike. Flowers not wasting any time on the mound. Foul ball by Scruggs. Evens the count at 2-2. Two -two. Off the end of his bat, so that may have stung just a little also. Mm-hmm. That temperature certainly makes a difference for those batters. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That's going to be strike three. Nope. 
Is that a foul ball? Foul ball. Must have tipped it. Must have barely tipped it. 2-2 two -two remains the count. That's going to be strike three. And that's going to be the second out. Tiger still holding a 4-1 lead. Now there's two outs in the bottom of the fifth. And they come up to the top of their order, Calhoun. The strength of the Yellow Jackets batting lineup is definitely in the top of their order right now in today's game. First pitch from Flowers outside, ball one. That was his fifth strikeout on the previous batter. Flowers winds up, delivers. Low, ball two. I believe Calhoun was hit by pitch. It's his last at bat, right? He was. Swing and a miss, strike one. Count two and one. Base hit his first time, left stranded on third, was hit by pitch his second time at bat. Swing and a miss, strike two. Even count two and two with two outs. Flowers looking to get out of this inning. One, two, three. Here's going to be a ground ball. It's going to be picked up by Keen from short right over the top of the base at second base. But right there in the gap where the Tigers unable to make a throw to first, Keen hangs on to it probably wisely. Calhoun has some speed going down to first and no use in trying to make that throw. And so Calhoun with the base hit will be at first. And that's going to bring up number 14, Beal, the right fielder. First swing, foul ball. 0-1 oh the count. Two outs, Calhoun, the lone runner on first for the Jackets. Beal steps in, flowers from the stretch. Calhoun takes off, called strike one. Woodard does not attempt to make a throw. Calhoun takes second base. Count 0-2 after the foul ball and the called strike. Here's the pitch. That's going to be swung on. That's going to be picked up again by Keene at short. He makes the throw to first, and this time they're able to get him out at first. And so with the throw out at first, that will end the fifth inning. When we come back, the Tigers are going to be batting again in the top of the sixth. They have a 4-1 lead over the Jackets. Stay with us for more Tiger baseball here on Country 102. WLCT. Tigers have had nine hits so far uh, on the game tonight with four runs in. Hitting the baseball today. Walford from the windup gets his signal and Wheelie calls time. Granted time by the behind the plate umpire. Walford gets his signal again. Here's the windup. Here's the throw. Wheelie swings on that one. That's going to get between third and short for a base hit to left field. So that will be the 10th base hit for the Tigers today. And that will bring up number two, Jordan Rogers, senior right fielder. Rogers had a base hit the last time and was on first base on an air on a shortstop in his second time at the bat. Or his first time, rather. Second time at bat, he had a base hit. Rogers steps in. Wheelie takes his lead. Walford from the stretch. Oh, he hit by pitch. Hit by pitch. Shows bunt, but Rogers is hit in the leg as he squares to bunt. And so he's going to walk down to first base after the hit by pitch. That'll move Wheelie over to second, and that'll bring up number 20, Braylon Flowers, pitching today for the Tigers. I think Rogers, when he tried to get out of the way, wound up getting hit on the knee on that on that one. He says he's okay. Gives a thumbs up that he's okay, but that was a that was a fastball that came in there. That was it a hard was. shot right to the knee on Rogers. So Wheelie's going to take his lead. Rogers stretching out his knee over on first, and now the infield is pulled in. First baseman's pulled in. Flowers going to hit a pop fly. That's going to fall in foul territory if they can't get to it, but he gets to it. The second baseman came over Calhoun. I have a feeling Calhoun is quite possibly their best athlete. 
he is uh, covering a lot of ground off his second base position out there. He was he was uh, 12 to 15 feet in foul territory. Off and the first base line and made the catch on the fly ball and dove to make the catch and held on. And so um, from watching him bat and watching him run the bases and field, I would say he's probably one of the, the premier athletes on the Trousdale County squad. Willie and Rogers taking their leads. Here's the pitch from Walford. Off-speed pitch. It's swung. Shortstop picks it up. Makes a what looked to be a low throw, but ended up bouncing up into the first baseman's glove for the out. Does move the runners to second and third. That's one of those throws to first that you just kind of hold your breath. Right. Hope he gets it on the bounce. That's right. But Malman able to pick it up able to dig it out for the out at first. So two outs in the top of the sixth. And the Trousdale County coach is going to go out and have a conversation with his pitcher and his catcher. Tigers with two runners on base and a 4-1 lead in the top of the sixth. They'd like to extend that lead if they can. That's going to bring up Soup Woodard. Next in the Tigers batting lineup. Soup been doing the work behind the plate for the Tigers today. And Walford from the stretch. Comes set. Here's the pitch. That's low. Key behind the plate. Keeps it in front of him on the bounced in pitch. And so 1-0 and is your count. Wheelie on third, Rogers on second. Woodard digs in. That's outside. Ball two. Count 2-0. Two and oh. A base hit would score another run for the Tigers. Walford comes set. He delivers. That's low. Key does a good job keeping that ball in front of him again. It bounced in front of the plate. And so on three pitches, three balls to Soup Woodard. Still have our faithful fans with us tonight. They're all bundled up and wrapped up very well. But there's a, we have a, a number that's traveled down to, from Macon County to be here at the game tonight. So Woodard's going to head down to first base. That's going to load the bases. I guess they just put him on. He didn't uh, pitch to him, did he? He didn't pitch to him. Yeah, they just decided to, they decided to go ahead and put him on without pitching to him. And so they're going to load the bases, and that's going to bring up Hayes Polston, left-handed batter. Here's the pitch from Walford, swung and missed by Polston. With bases loaded in two outs, count is 0-1. Tigers leading 4-1. And that is a good strategy at times. Load your bases, then you have a play at home also. Soup's a good hitter, too. He can hit it deep. He can. So can Polston. That's high for ball one. Count one and one. And... Wolford has been throwing more balls in this inning. There is a danger of walking in a run. Walking in a run, exactly. But that's the gamble that you have to take. 1-1. One, one. Here's the pitch from Wolford. Swung on, fouled off. 1-2 is your count. Two outs. Tigers with a 4-1 lead. Would like to add to it. Hayes has the power if he can get a hold of one to grand slam this thing, but see how it turns out on this pitch. Walford gets his signal, comes set. Delivers high. Evens the count at 2-2. Two -two. So Hayes Polston in the box for the Tigers. 
With a 2-2 count and two outs, base is loaded. Walford gets his signal and steps off. Everyone resets. Polston takes a couple of practice swings. And now everybody's ready to go. Walford comes set. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swung on hard. And that's going to be hit over the center fielder's head. That's going to nearly go to the wall. Center fielder loses his cap. We've got one run, two runs. Polson's going to stand up on third. And as Eli Carver, the pinch runner for Soup, Woodard crosses the plate, the Tigers put on runs five, six, and seven after the hard shot to center field by Hayes Polston on a 2-2 pitch with two outs and bases loaded. The Tigers add three more runs to their lead. And now this is the second time the coach comes out to talk with his pitcher, which by rule he has to pull him out. And so they're going to change pitchers here. Didn't go over the fence, but went to the fence over the uh, center fielder's head and uh, cleared the base as far as left that's, Hayes standing on second. That's really. about as, as much as you can get without getting a grand slam home run. That's it. Now they bring in Farley after the three-run RBI after the shot from Hayes Polston over the center fielder's head. That moved us to 11 hits uh, in the game thus far. We had a, a hit by pitch in this inning and uh, had a base on balls to, to Soup Woodard. Hayden Dean steps in. Farley from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Dean shoots that one to a ground ball to shortstop. Shortstop makes a great play on the ball and throws it over to first base to Malman for the third out of the sixth inning, of the top of the sixth inning. And so that'll retire the side. When we come back, the Yellow Jackets are going to be at bat in the bottom of the sixth. Tigers leading 7-1. You're listening to Tiger Baseball here on Country 102 WLCT. And after a three-run, two-out rally in the sixth inning, the Tigers extend the lead to 7-1. to one. Number 11, Day, the DH, coming up for the Yellow Jackets. Flowers from the windup. Here's the first pitch. And that's going to be a ball one. Flowers has five strikeouts thus far. That's going to be a hard shot to center field. That's going to get in the gap between center and left. That's going to be at least two bases, and he's going to go for three. And the throw is going to come in from Keene to third, but not in time before Day is able to get a triple on his opening at bat of the bottom of the sixth inning. And that brings up the cleanup batter. Key, the catcher for the Yellow Jackets. That ball went all the way to the fence. It did. In the gap. Their strongest hitters today have been the first four batters. Yes. And the bottom of their lineup has struggled quite a bit. This pitch to Key is called strike one. Count one and one to Key now. Day on third. Here's the pitch, and that is called strike two. Great fastball from Flowers. Flowers pitching from the windup. Delivers. That's going to be a shot hit towards second base. Wilson dives for it. Not able to get it. Hard hit shot. And so now, 7-2 as Day crosses the plate. And Key gets a base hit. Courtesy runner coming in for the Jackets. Smith comes in to first base. And number 12, Walford, the pitcher, steps up to the plate. First pitch is a ball. 1-0 the count on Walford. 
with Smith on first base. Seven twos your score in the bottom of the sixth. Flowers come set, delivers. This is going to be a high pop up. And Landon Connor comes up from left in shallow left. He called Keen off the shortstop and made a great catch. That holds Smith on first. Great play from Connor in left field. Got a good jump on that ball and was able to catch it. He did. That's going to bring up the first baseman, Malman. Smith takes his lead on first. Polston holding him on. Here's the throw, and they're going to, nope, didn't get him. That was close. Really close. Flowers knew it was close, too. I believe that one will show us later that he was out. Maybe watching this on TV and see something different. That was very close. Here's the pitch. That is going to be caught by Keene at second. They're going to get the lead runner. Keene at first was going to toss it to Wilson at second, but then just decided to keep it. He bobbled it a little bit in his glove and then just stepped on the bag to get the lead runner, and that gets the second out. The next hitter, and so 20, that's going to bring up number 20. Farley. Am I right on that one? Uh, he is. He's in for Livingston. Yeah, that is Farley. He came in to pitch, and so he's in the lineup. That's number 20, Farley. That's going to be a called ball on Farley, one and one. I think everybody in the stadium was waiting for the strike call on that one. One and one's a count, two outs, seven twos the lead. Flowers from the stretch, delivers, and that's a called ball. Two and one's the count with two outs. There's a pitch, and that is a called strike. Even count, two and two with two outs. The Jackets put up one run in the bottom of the sixth. Tigers looking to get out of this inning. And they do get out of the inning on the third strike. Nice job by Braylon Flowers on the mound to retire the side. When the Tigers come back, we'll be in the top of the seventh inning. They hold a 7-2 lead over the Yellow Jackets of Trousdale County. And Tigers going to see if they can close this one out. You're listening to Country 102, WLCT. Walford pitched the first five and two-thirds inning. Farley came in and just pitched a handful of pitches to one batter in the, bottom, in the top of the sixth. And so now in the top of the seventh, the Tigers with a 7-2 lead want to hold on to that lead. To close this game out, they could add to it in the top of the seventh. That would just help their cause. Landon Connor, number 42, comes up to the plate. Connor made a great catch in shallow left in the last inning. This is going to be a fly ball to the third baseman who goes down to his knees and makes the catch. And so... On the first pitch, Connor flies out for out number one. That's going to bring up number 19, Chase Keene. Chase King has had a base hit, uh, had uh, on first base on an error, uh, flied out to the pitcher the last time at bat. This is his fourth at bat. First pitch to Keene is a ball outside, ball one. Count one and oh. Farley comes set. Here's the pitch. That's high over the catcher's head. Ball two. Count two and oh to Keene. Farley comes set. Here's the pitch. That's in the dirt. That's three straight pitches, three straight balls from Farley. 
Count 3-0. and Chase Keen. One out. No one on. Tigers leading 7-2 in the top of the seventh. Here's Farley's pitch. That's going to be a called strike. Three and one is the count to Chase King. Here's a 3-1 pitch swung on. Foul ball. Hit back up over the backstop. And so now there's a full count on Chase Keene with one out, no one on. Farley comes set, delivers. Keene swings on it and misses for strike three. And the catcher, Key. Tried to do a throw around to the infield, but I think that ball ended up in left field. <laughs> That's going to bring up Matthew Wheely, number 11, with two outs, center fielder. Going to try to see if he can generate some offense here in the top of the seventh. Here's Farley's pitch. It's high, hits the backstop. Ball one. Count one and oh. I know, I know how cold my hands are up here. I can imagine that those pitchers, especially those infielders, their hands get cold. They've got to with that wind like it's been. Swing and a miss. It's going to be strike one, and that popped off the umpire's chest protector, popped straight up. And so one and one's the count with two outs. Matthew Wheely. Steps back in. Here's a pitch. Swung on, hard hit ball in center field. Center fielder going back, back, back. Uh, but he gets over his head. Wheelie is going to get a stand-up double as the cutoff man had gone out to shallow center. And Calhoun, the second baseman, he was standing on the edge of the grass. And so... No one there to receive the ball at second, but Wheely with a solid hit to center is going to be standing up on second base. Jordan Rogers, number two, senior right fielder, coming up to the plate. Wheely takes his lead on second. Farley comes set. Here's the pitch. That's low and outside and away from the catcher on the wild pitch. Wheely's going to walk down to third. Defense has backed up several steps after that and got over the center fielder's head, so they decided they'd play back a little while. So one and knows the count to Jordan Rogers. Farley comes set. Wheelie takes his lead. Here's the pitch. That's in the dirt. That gets away from the catcher. Wheelie, it bounces off the backstop, almost back out to the mound, and Wheelie trots on in across home plate for the Tigers' eighth run. First run in the top of the seventh and the eighth run for the game. Eight twos the lead. And with two outs, no one on base. Jordan Rogers is still batting with a 2-0 count. Two wild pitches in a row. So Key goes out to talk with his pitcher. I see the device that they have on the back of the catcher's gear. I think that's electronic communication device from the dugout where the coach can talk to the catcher and give him signals. New technology that are being used in a lot of places, a lot of high school programs are using that technology, and that way they don't have to use hand signals. That pitch is a strike, two and one to Rogers now with two outs. And next pitch is high, three one. Roger steps in, Farley comes set, delivers. Roger swings on it. That's a foul ball. 
and Whoa. hits the cart on the softball field. The driver covered his head to avoid being hit by that ball, but it hit the bed on the John Deere Gator <laughs> on the softball field. Full count now to Jordan Rogers with two outs. No one on base. Farley delivers the pitch, and that's a called third strike, and that will retire the side. And so the only thing standing between the Tigers and a victory are three outs. They lead 8-2. We're going into the bottom of the seventh, and the Yellow Jackets will be at bat. Stay with us. See if the Tigers can close this out. You're listening to 102 WLCT. Up to bat for the Yellow Jackets. Leading off the bottom of the seventh is going to be number 24, Irvin, entering the game for the Yellow Jackets. Here's the first pitch to Flowers. And that's going to be a ball. Now batting number 24, Hunter Irvin. One and those account. Swing and a miss, strike one. Count one and one to Irvin. Next pitch to Irvin is fouled off. And that was hit in left field of the softball field. Right next to us. Off the first base side. And so count moves to one and two. Irvin steps back in. Flowers from the windup. Here's the pitch. Swung on. It was in the dirt. Soup jumps up, tags Irvin to get the out on the drop third. And so one out. That's going to bring up number five for the Yellow Jackets. Looks like they're moving some of their subs in, down eight to two. Burnley comes in, left-handed batter. First pitch, high, ball one. Count one and oh to Burnley. Next pitch to flat from Flowers is low for ball two. Count 2-0 to Burnley. Third pitch is right down the middle. Strike one. Count 2-1. One. one out. No one on. There's another one right down the pipe. Evens the count at 2-2. Two, two. Flowers winds up, delivers just outside. Full count, three and two with one out, no one on. Burnley in his first at bat. There's the pitch. It's low and inside. Burnley's going to walk. And that's going to bring up number two, Calhoun, second baseman. Up to bat, number two, Tobin Calhoun. Who has proven to be one of their stronger batters. And so the Trousdale County coach comes out to talk to the plate umpire. And it looks like we have a pinch runner. Number 28 has gone in as a pinch runner for Burnley on first base. 28 is Linville. And that will be his first entry into the game. Flowers tried to pick up uh, to pick him off, but uh, he got back to first base. Tigers leading 8-2 at the bottom of the seventh. Here's another pickoff move. Holston applies the tag, but Limble able to get back in time. Still one out. Here's the pitch to Calhoun. He swings and misses for strike one. Count 0-1. Calhoun. Flowers come set. Check swing, and that's strike two for Calhoun. 0 oh and 2. Flowers gets ahead early in the count. Flowers attempts to pick off move again. Polston applies a tag, but Limbo gets back in time. 0-2 count to Calhoun. 
Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed, strike three. And so that's the second out for the Yellow Jackets as Calhoun heads back to the dugout. Strikeout number eight for Flowers tonight. Eight strikeouts for Flowers. Great job on the mound today. Number 14, Beal, right fielder, comes up to bat, and he hits a hard shot to Jordan Rogers in right field. And that's the third out, and that is your baseball game. The Tigers take a nice win over the Trousdale County Yellow Jackets by a score of 8-2 to two in their first meeting in several years. Thank you, Adam, for coming out to support your team tonight. Tigers with 12 base hits, and Flowers eight strikeouts. with eight strikeouts on the mound. And so the Tigers are going to take the victory. Great Tiger, win for them. Tigers only committing one error tonight, so they played real good defense. Great job. Congratulations to the Tigers on the win.